Introduction to JavaScript. Welcome back. Today, we're going to learn a new programming concept, variables. To help us with this, we're going to use a new tool. This tool is called a REPL, or a console. To access it, go to this website. I'll include a link in the show notes. Then click on the JavaScript word. The value of the REPL is immediate feedback. You can see that whenever we type something into the REPL, it will immediately return exactly what we type, or the value of what we type. And this will be very useful once we start working with more complicated structures. One such structure are variables. Variables are a way to store information so that we can retrieve it later. For example, here I'm going to store the color blue. And then when we ask later what the color is, it will tell us that it's blue. We can also do this for numbers. So if we want to store 100 in X, then at any time we can ask, what's X? And it will give us back 100. We can even change what's stored at X. And it will still give us the new value. Here's an example of how we can use a variable. We have five circles, all of which are green. Let's say we want to change them all to blue. To do that, you would have to change it to blue five times. Here we have this exact same situation, but now we're using a color variable. So if I want to change all of them to blue, I only have to change it once, and then they all change. Here's one way to think of it. In our first situation, we had five arrows, all pointing directly to green. So when we wanted to change what they were, we had to change all five to point to blue. And this is a time-consuming process. In the second situation, we had those five arrows pointing to color, and then color pointed to green. Now, if we want to change what all five of these mean, all we have to do is change what color points to. And that's much easier. For your assignment today, I've set up a situation where all the x values are the same. What I want you to do is in two steps. First, replace all the x values with a variable called x. Then, by just changing one thing, I want you to move the entire line of circles to the right, so where x is equal to 150. 